Okay, this is a slightly more advanced red eye correction uh, where we actually not only remove the red eye but add a, a real color to the eye, be it brown or blue or, or, uh, or green or whatever you, you'd like the person's eye color to be or you know, preferably what their actual eye color actually is. Um, the first thing we're going to need to do in this case is add a new layer. So we're simply going to click on our background layer, add a new layer, the create new layer dialog comes up and we're just going to call uh, this layer, uh, what it actually is going to be, which we'll call it new eye color. And um, we're just going to leave that layer there as being transparent for the moment. Let's just go back to our background here, and now we're going to use the technique we used in the other video, which is simply to desaturate the red from the eye color. So make sure the background layer is selected, click the zoom tool, and then we're going to zoom in on the subject so we get both eyes visible at the same time and then we're going to pick the uh, elliptical selection tool and we're going to select the red area of both eyes. Um, what you want to do is make sure that the um, add to selection mode is selected so that when we go and select the other eye it adds to the selection and we have both red areas of both eyes selected. We're now simply going to do color, U saturation, select the red channel, and bring the saturation way down. And that will desaturate the red out of the eye. So now we've done um, uh, that piece of business. The next thing we're going to want to do is add the natural color or our, or our selected color back into it. So we're going to now go to our new eye color uh, layer. We're going to do simply select a foreground color, which is the color we want. In this case, uh, the subject um, had brown eyes, but we're just we're going to make them blue. Pick a shade of blue that you want for the blue eyes. Click OK, and then we're going to simply um, do uh, edit, fill with foreground color. Now, notice it's only filling in the areas uh, where we had the selection or, or already in place. Um, the only problem is here is, of course, that's not very natural. We uh, don't want that to be a solid blue. We want it to be a tinted color to the eye. So we simply change the opacity down until we essentially get some of the texture back, but the eye color is uh, still is still there. Um, that looks good. And then we can do select none. And then we can do image, uh, sorry, we can do view, zoom, fit image in window, and there we have it. Uh, we have no red eye, and the subject now has uh, blue eyes, as uh, we can tell. Of course, this person actually in real life has, uh, like I said, has brown eyes, but um, one nice thing about uh, digital photography post-processing is you uh, don't necessarily have to completely uh, reflect reality. So there you go.